Hey there, we are talking about uh, wireframe in Arnold. Okay, so I've got this cool model, but maybe I want to show off my wireframe. Oh, I know, but this is not what I'm talking about, right? Boring. So in my hypershade, there is an Arnold shader. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go to Arnold and then shader. And I'm going to show you AI wireframe. Okay, so I'm going to add this to all my geometry in the scene, except that, and I probably don't need that stuff. Do, do, do. Great. Assign material to selection. Yay, that's it, right? Press render, it's good to go. Ooh, I need to turn down some of my quality settings. This is taking too long. Uh, but you can see that that is not how I modeled this, right? I modeled in quads, not triangles. I know, because I did it. So for starters, let me just turn down my quality real quick. Do -do. Looks good. That'll work. And let's fix that. So in my AI wireframe, I'm going to select it. And I want the edge type to be polygons instead of triangles. Let's hit render. Yay, it's better, right? It's quads. But there is an issue. And I'm not talking about all this grain. I turned down my settings so this would render more quickly. This isn't actually shaded, right? So this is glowing. You can see the white glowing on the ground. And there's no shadows being cast on this. So I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So we're going to do something different. What we're going to do is create a Lambert. So I can go to Maya, press Lambert. Here's my brand new Lambert. I am now going to add that to all the geometry right there. Oops, not that. There we go. Let's see, Lambert 3. Come on. All right, so I got my Lambert on there. And in my Lambert 3, in the color, I am going to, instead of doing like a texture or anything, I'm going to add that Arnold shader. So I can go to Arnold, shader, there's that wireframe. Cool. So this added the wireframe. So we actually need to go back to that Lambert, and you'll see, oh, hey, this uh, wireframe is inside of this Lambert, which is kind of cool. Maybe we'll have to see. I'm going to change it to polygons, and this time, let's render. Ooh, okay, looky there. I'm going to zoom in a little, and let's re-render that. <clears throat> so you can see that now I have that clay render like I had before, right? Just that Lambert. Ooh, I missed. I missed, um, but I have this Lambert, and now I have the wireframe that's on top of this. So I still have my three-point lighting, everything's looking great, and now I can see the wireframe. So this might be the results that you're looking for, and this is gonna bug me. I've gotta do it. Let's fix that. Fix that, re-render, great. All right, so just a simple way how to get a wireframe on your model. Thanks for watching.